Hi there, Clyde here from Leechburg Lights. Uh, returning back to do a recording for part two of creating a map for mapping your channels from LOR into X Lights. Uh, and we're working with, once again today, it's version 2016.42. You can see right there, real small on the screen there. Um, so, what we did in the last video was uh, basically build our uh, entire channel list of all the possible channels that I could be pulling in from any one of my sequences that I were to go into here we'll go into the sequence editor and if I were to open up um, a sequence uh, what's another one that I did what child is this um, this sequence was written I'd say in 2012 and then converted in 2013 to RGB and then in yesterday I took the time to map out all the channels and uh, um, begin sequencing in X lights but I pulled all of the important data that I wanted I populated into my different channels the uh, the actual red the actual green and the actual well, what was white is now blue um, I, I populated it from the original sequence which didn't have RGB it only had individual single channels so now that I've got um, the RG and B because most of my display uh, to be honest and I didn't I don't think I made this point most of my display back in the um, back in uh, in 2010 11 12 they all were single channel but they all had a string of red a string of green and a string of blue and a string of white there was at least four channels on every element except for the spinners and the reindeer and that allowed for a lot of cool effects now that i've created and i'm probably going to go back and make another video to show you my conversion process going from one into this one um, now I'm going to go in and I want to do um, to do the actual import. So I've already mapped all my channels. I've already saved my map, and this picks up exactly where we left off in the last video. I'm going to go ahead and save anyway, and that way this map will be ready for any future use. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to cross my fingers because every once in a while something can happen, and right now if you look here it looks like it's completed at the bottom we can go ahead and we can hit I want to hit the save button I want to hit file save sequence and I'm gonna type 2016 uh, what was this song last Christmas and I'm gonna click save and it's writing it it's writing it and now it's complete and now we're gonna click the render button and what render will do will bring up any of the sequencing that's available in the sequence to be seen on the screen with the colors that are assigned to it so I'm gonna zoom in I'm just hitting the plus button that makes it easier for me and I've already got my uh, my timing marks in here from earlier I made I set this as bars and there's a couple different views that I'm going to go to. The first one I'm going to go to is where my windows work because that, that was one thing that uh, I wanted to make sure I got got right. Now I notice there is no timings for the uh, on the window screen. I'm going to go to edit display elements and I'm going to add my bars timing to this view and I can close it out. Now I have bars up here and it's selected. So now um, you'll you'll notice I have a couple things here. Let's see the windows. Actually, there's a lot of things here. Windows down. If I open this up, there should be some sequencing in here somewhere. There we go. And all of this data in here is is something that can be manipulated. Uh, if I select it or click on it, I should be able to uh, move it or change it. So as long as it's not uh, a data layer I can actually delete this if I don't like this now um, it seems that uh, in my original sequence I had a couple errors and I'll, I'll you'll note this that not uh, I didn't sequence everything exactly the way I, I needed to sequence it 
So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to do some editing on my own, and I'm going to do something else. I'm going to show you real quick is what I what 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 is called a node promotion or promoting node effects, and what what this will do is this will take it'll render everything in this model or in this model group they should say and it will render anything that has identical sequencing among all of the models or, or among all of the nodes I should say if if they're all identical or exact what it'll do is it'll promote it to the top here and that will decrease the amount of sequencing data that is saved in the XML and uh, the uh, uh, FSEQ file so it'll kind of cut down on the size of the file and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so I'll go ahead and pr hit promote node effects and you can see some of those have been promoted now as you can see I probably in X -Lite, or uh, LOR I didn't sequence this very well I missed this whole channel here or maybe I didn't map it or copy and paste it correctly um, I can actually go do that I can do that right now if I get rid of the bars and I go to new timing and if I click on T and T now I've got some timing marks they're red and you probably can't see them very well I'm just gonna go in here I'm gonna right click and copy and I'll paste and I could actually just paste up there and delete but um, if I hit promote node layers that should promote that to um, a uh, node layer there uh, and that's interesting because it just raised it to a I don't hmm, I wonder if that's a bug uh, it added it, it inserted it into a layer so in any event that's okay um, we'll just copy whoop control Z let's go ahead and we're going to delete layer oh, So there we go. So there we go. We've just promoted the node layer and now we've got all the way across the sequence. Looks like I have some little bits to fix, but uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, there is some sequencing that I'm not going to touch. That's like this, for instance. This is already set up. If I click on, um, I don't know, uh, let's see, the, the whole house preview and let's go here. So, oh. Now here's a little secret. Hit the control button if you don't want it to snap back in uh, into the grid. If you hit the control button, I just want to resize it so it's a little smaller. And I can still see the timeline. And it looks like I've got a whole sequence that is pretty much ready for me to go now if I want to I can go ahead and resequence some of this if I don't like it um, then I can uh, you know some of the blues here were all white I can go back and change those colors you know it's no big deal it's pretty simple uh, an easy process and so forth but the other thing you'll notice is uh, is what's nice is that all of the roof lines even though um, if you look at the ground lights what I did was whenever I did the mapping file I set the map to promote to the top level of the ground uh, of the ground um, group and the ground right the ground left and ground right I used the same node to reflect both of them uh, the lower roof and the upper roof I used the the main lower roof I didn't go to node one if I did I'd have to come down here copy the entire row and then uh, you can right click and you can copy row and then you'd right click and you can paste row and uh, but I didn't have to do that because it automatically did that for me so there's a few things that are already done uh, let's go into tree line here I, I'm not sure if the data layer showed up there or not the basics that I do have uh, I know that I have a significant amount of sequencing to do for this song but the basics that I have already uh, laid out are done. I have my window frames done, I have my icicle lights done, I have my upper uh, and, and lower roof lines done. Actually let's go look at the icicles. I don't think we... Um, yeah the icicles worked. See they're there. Let's go find them. Um, icicles up and down. Those should be in my all groups. Um, let's look at 
roof and ground lines, and there they are. There's the uh, icicles up and the icicles down. You can see where it's created. Now let's have a look at, we have the icicles, the up, up and the icicles down. Um, I only mapped just one line, the first node, but I, I mapped it to directly to the, uh, the model group. So it carries it down into the entire, if I double click on here, it carries it down into the entire group. So it's not doing what uh, the windows had done because each window was sequenced. Uh, I just sequenced the entire uh, roof line of the house, or the, the entire uh, um, uh, icicle line of the house. So if we go ahead and play the sequence, you can see the icicles are working just fine. And I have my fade a little bit different. And I'm pretty happy with this. This, this is going to save me a significant amount of time. Um, building a new sequence whenever I have so many sequences probably another 12 sequences that won't take very long to copy and paste that'll probably be another video that I roll and okay so uh, I was having some trouble a little bit ago uh, with the sequence now I saved the sequence and I want to bring it back up I want to open it up I, I saved it before and look what happens whenever I open this converted sequence. Let's see, 2016 last Christmas, open it up. I was having trouble with that tree line. I couldn't find the tree line. Now, this warning came up, and I want to show you, if you happen to have this happen to you, uh, that if you have, um, um, it says model tree twig and model group, is is a model group but has node strand effects how should we handle this I don't know why this happened because I have the model for trees twig in there or the model group but and I've I've uh, mapped the data to it but what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna ma map it to a different model that's very similar to it and it's set up exactly the same I'm gonna move this center stage here and I'm going to find um, see it says tree, twig trees right there I, I'm just gonna pass by it though I'm gonna use this one here tree line they're the same model only they're built a little bit differently and uh, I'm gonna click down the arrows down here and I'm going to uh, uh, go from the tree line to the strand number one and node number one now my tree has three RGB channels uh, per tree and with that being a, there's a lower a middle and a top and whenever I uh, uh, bring these in to the uh, into the sequence I'm gonna start mapping node 1 with node 1 and node 2 with node 2 and I'll probably fast forward through this so you don't have to be bored And now we're going to go ahead, and I'm not going to save this. I, I'll just adjust the uh, the map file the next time I do another import. I'm just going to click OK. Are you sure you don't want to save this for future imports? Yes. And now that we've clicked OK, here we go. Let's go down to the tree line right here. I don't understand why it didn't show up in the tree, tw uh, twig trees, but let's see if it showed up here in the tree line. They're mapped exactly the same, which is kind of odd, but that's OK. Um, I'm going to let's zoom in and let's put a timing mark here and uh, well it doesn't matter timing marks aren't irrelevant let's go ahead and render this is probably gonna take about 15 seconds and let's go ahead and test it out and there we go we have our sequencing from the trees is in there uh, once again it's gonna look a little odd because instead of having uh, the white behind it it's blue but there again uh, this can all be part of uh, new layering effects and so forth and promoting the node level etc um, the whole idea is going to be to uh, to be a little bit more flexible and open up some sequencing that I had had in the past that will be easy to add in that doesn't need a lot of fluff and so forth so uh, I hope this helps guys I I, uh, 
I, I really enjoy making the videos. It's just been so damn long since I've had the time to do it. And I figure, what the hell, let's get some going because I'm doing some work in the display for this year. I'm really hoping to have something uh, exciting this year. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. The next video coming up, I think I'm going to do a video for you guys on uh, the actual conversion from 2010 into 2015, which would map again. So, all right. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon.